Hello friends, this is Ishwar here and in this video let us see how to install Android P on the Redmi Note 4. So before getting started, let me tell you the requirements before installing this Android P on your Redmi Note 4. So first of all, you need an unlock bootloader and the second thing is that you need a custom recovery install. Let it be anything, just install a TWRP recovery and then after that we can just flash our travel recovery to install this Android P on our Redmi Note 4. So this is a travel based ROM which is a GSI also known as Jetpack system image. So let us see the required downloads for this ROM and then let us see how to install the Android P with those downloaded files. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Here's the main website in which the uh, required files are there. So here's the requirements as you can see, and you, you need to download the main P S D S I A one D uh, zip file from this website. You need to click on this hyperlink over here, and it will open a new tab in uh, in Android file host. So after getting that, first install this uh, P P R one a only zip file and all these three other zip files do not install this ppr1 ab zip file and then uh, get into this link uh, where you can download the twrp treble uh, recovery which you would need to install the treble recovery on your redmi note 4 and then you need to download a treble supported rom for that you can just get into the treb, uh, treble supported rom link which i will leave the link in the description box below so you can just download the lineage os treble supported rom from here just download whatever uh, the latest rom is here and it will be good to go and after that you need to download a fits file which is the vivo lte fits and uh, uh, we need we need to just tap on this and it will open a google drive file just download it from here by tapping this button after flashing that zip file you will get the disabled navigation bar and pixel blue ascent and also the enabled camera to api so that's good and if you want to fix have a fix of anything which is uh, mentioned over here you can download that too from here now for our convenience i have split these into after boot and before boot folders so we need to flash these files before the boot and i will tell you in which order to install this and after installing those we need to install these after booting into the rom so now let's uh, jump into the installation process so here i am with the redmi note 4 and i have uh, booted into the recovery and if you haven't yet booted into the recovery just press the volume up and power button simultaneously and then it will boot into your recovery and after you have booted into the twrp recovery just install the treble recovery as i will show just get into install and then select your recovery file for that you need to select on install image and then select the recovery dot image now select the recovery partition and then swipe to confirm flash now we need to reboot the recovery so just again hold the volume up and power button simultaneously so that it will boot into our recovery now after it has booted into our recovery just select wipe and then select advanced wipe and select dalvik or cache system vendor data and cache we need not erase the internal storage or micro sd card and if your device is encrypted you need to erase the internal storage so beware of that now swipe to confirm wipe and then after it has been wiped just get into mount and make sure that all of these has been selected now get into install again and then select the lineage os file which we have downloaded before and then swipe to flash this will flash the vendor image also on our redmi note 4 which is needed for the uh, installation of android p gsi 
on our Redmi Note 4. As you can see, it is flashing the Vendor image unconditionally, which is the main thing of flashing this ROM on our Redmi Note 4. Now, after it has been flashed, just select Wipe Cache and Delete Cache, and then get back and select Wipe, Advanced Wipe, and then Wipe the System, Delete Card Cache, Data, and then Cache. You should not wipe the Vendor or Internal Storage or Memory Card. Now, swell it, try to wipe and then after that come back and then again reboot your recovery now after it has been booted into our recovery we need to select install and then we need to select the android p image file which we have extracted before select it and then install it as a system image swipe to confirm flash it will take some time to install this so sit back and relax now as you can see the image file has been flashed and come back we need to get into mount and then we need to make sure all of these have been selected. Now again get into install and then select your uh, android p post gsi files like this order. First of all we need to select the first one and the second one and then the third one. So select first one, add more zips, second one, add more zips and the third one. Uh, swipe to confirm flash and it will install these files now after all of these have been installed just select white cache and delete cache and then finally we need to install the vivo lte fits which is needed for vivo lte to properly work on our device so select that and then select swipe to flash now after it has been installed just swipe cache and delete cache come back and then reboot into the system now after a few more minutes it will just boot into our android p on our redmi note 4 as you can see the full boot animation is over here and it means that android p will surely work on our redmi note 4 if this boot animation doesn't uh, occur on your device and if you only see the mi logo make sure you have followed the steps properly wow it has been booted right now and i am feeling very excited to boot this up let's just try to unlock and it is asking whether to update the preferred sim card let me tap on yes and then let me reduce the brightness a little bit as you can see the android p notification center is looking very cool and let's just jump into settings wow system about phone and as you can see it is showing it as pixel xl it is because this rom is ported from pixel xl yeah as you can see here is the android version 9 and it, show, it shows the android version and all the security patch level over here july 5th 2018 is the security patch right now it's very cool and whenever we tap this a lot of times it should show our android p and as you can see it is over here android p boot animation like when we swipe this like this it gives this beautiful effect and let us open this recent screen as you can see the new android p recent screen we can just clear all from here the recent screen is working very fine if i need to open split screen i can't hold this up to open split screen the double tap to switch is working very fine we have the G apps which are required to run our device which is very cool and if you have any bugs over here and if you want to find a fix for it uh, you will get the fix for it in the website which I have mentioned earlier and you can find the features over there and if your fix is mentioned over there and if there is any fix for it just download the zip file and then flash it in the recovery which you have so i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video hit the like button and if you want to share this tutorial on how to install android p to your friends do share it to your friends and they will be very helpful with it so thanks for watching have a great day peace